Brando here at Average New Slow Pitch. Today we're bringing out the brand new D Marini Culture. This is the APC Tech 13 inch barrel, one ounce end load. So same barrel length as like the Twisted Mistress model, whether it's the Yates or the mid load, except now we've got the one ounce end load versus the Yates half ounce and obviously the mid load on that one. This one is going to be the BSC edition. If you're not sure what that is, it's the black softball circuit. If you haven't seen it, I'd say YouTube it. It's some of the most electric softball you're gonna see. I've gotten the opportunity this year to actually go ahead and play um, in the black softball circuit. That's why I chose to wear this jersey today. I figured if we're gonna shoot BSC, might as well use the BSC jersey. So top shelf, it's who I run with out there. We're actually headed out to BSC Worlds here the end of the month when this bat is actually going to drop. So we're getting this out there. So if you're gonna be out there at BSC Worlds, stop by the D Marini Red Athlete tent. These are gonna be available. These are very limited runs. So if you want one, you're gonna have to grab one quick. These will also be available on dmarini.com, redathlete.com, and Headbanger Sports as usual. For Headbanger Sports, code ADS is gonna get you one of these. If you spot it over at Red Athlete, you're gonna to wanna to use code ADS35. But let's go ahead, we're gonna get swings on it. We're not gonna use 52s tonight. We're just running a little bit low on time here at this field. But if you wanna see how these APC barrels perform with 52s, go back uh, two or three videos ago, you should see the Twisted Mistress Midload versus Yates. We did a bunch of 52s in the beginning, you can kinda see, but I'll tell you, these handle 52s just fine. We're gonna be using Pro M's the whole time, our normal Razo Pro M's and then ZN's, not the hardcores, just the traditional Pro M's. We'll get about 100 swings on it, and once we get that done, we're gonna actually compare it against the two other APC techs that I've been gaming that just so happen to also be 13 inch. So again, the 13 inch mid-load Twisted Mistress and then the 13 inch half ounce Yates Twisted Mistress. So when we're done, get about five swings on each, just five good barrels, see kind of how they feel, sound in comparison, come back, final compression, final thoughts. All right, let's go ahead and test the D Marini culture real quick before we throw any swings on it. Again, APC Tech, as we mentioned in the video, one ounce inload, I know doesn't affect the testing, but just in case you kind of missed that in the, the intro portion. Dial to zero. And like we expect with most APC 275, and I talked about it a little bit in the intro, but we are gonna go ahead and throw it against the APC Midload Twisted Mistress and Yates, just because those are the ones I've been gaming. I'm hoping to game this culture just because the one ounce end load is my preferred end load. So I'd like to see kind of how it compares. This model, I've put a decent amount of swings on. This is kind of my backup gamer. It's sitting basically right at 260, which is where I'm hoping to kind of get the culture to. So we know by the time we get about the 100 swings on the culture from what we've seen with these, it should at least be close enough that the comparison makes sense. Um, that's also a 27 mid load. So same kind of, well, same sticker weight, obviously different with the end load. And this is a 27 and a half Yates. And on this one, dialed that too far. And on this one, we're pretty much right at 250. So again, they're gonna be slightly probably lower compression than the culture, but it'll give us a chance to at least see kind of how it's comparing to those, especially since uh, I'm a huge fan of them and been gaming those as for the Twisted and the, the Yates pretty much all year. All right, again, Demony culture. As we mentioned in the intro, 13 inch, one ounce end load. And the first thing I'll tell you right now is having swung Yates's bat and like Jason Magnum's bat, if you swung the gold grill, you probably noticed that the end load felt really light on that for being a one ounce end load. On this one, 100% uh, it feels like a one ounce end load, exactly what you want. I can tell it's heavier at the end than the Yates um, that we're gonna compare to later. And then like with the mid load, you can tell that you have that load kind of built in here. So it's nice that the weighting is, it feels pretty darn true to a 27 one ounce end load. So I would go with the weight that you normally swing. Um, this does feel, Pretty similar to like my Brady. The Brady might be slightly heavier, but go with the one you want to swing. Again, as I mentioned in the intro, if you want to see this thing or how this would perform with like 52s, go ahead and go back, watch the Twisted Mistress versus Yates video. We swung 52s on there. Again, that's all APC Tech 13 inch barrels. Unless this feels drastically different than the Twisted Mistresses, uh, we don't plan on swinging 52s with this just because we're kind of time limited um, at this point. But let's go ahead and see how it performs again with Pro M's. We use the same balls we've always mentioned, regular ZNs, no hard cores no classic M's, and then we got the Pro M Razos. And our wind too as well, hopefully you can see that. It's blowing pretty much right at the camera. So uh, at least we're not getting really any aid here as well. Uh, dimensions, I threw them up just before we started taking the swings as far as what the field is, uh, down the left field line, all that kind of stuff. But I believe, if I remember correctly, 330 down the lines. 98 miles per hour. Yeah, there's that sweet spot right off the, right off the jump. 100 miles per hour. Well, it's definitely the APC tech. You can just, you can feel the way it comes off. 84 miles per hour. Jeez. 93 miles per hour. 
Yeah, awesome. through the wind out. You can also tell the wind's blowing in. Yeah, you can tell the wind's blowing in, but I'm not gonna lie, for I tweaked my knee up a little bit at this last tournament and I could tell I lost my legs on that swing a little bit and that became all arms. And we still punched through the wind just fine. Less than five swings out on this back. 91 miles per hour. I missed it slightly low. And the 91 got us, again, a short hop with that wind blowing in. So, again, with the, with the amount of swings on it, it's it's already crazy forgiving. It was reminding me a lot of both the twist mishes, uh, really close to that kind of mid-load, which I really, really like. But with this one on its end load, assuming it opens up like the rest of them, it's definitely going to be my gamer going forward. And definitely the bat I plan on swinging uh, going into BSC Worlds here in a couple weeks. 82 miles per hour. All I'm saying is you're, you're hitting like that 82, 85 range just on a real easy swing. Like, I know. You got I have, 82 there with like no effort. I have not been, I have not been over swinging. I really like the weight of this one. Yeah, the one ounce I think is perfect on it. 80 miles per hour. Even for a 27 though, like, that's a little heavier than what I normally swing and it feels really good. Yeah. 99 miles per hour. That felt like the sweet spot. I mean, yeah, 99, which we've seen some higher speeds with these things, but that ball was moving all over the place, so I'll take it. 90 miles per hour. When in doubt, use the line. Just kidding. A little bit inside pitch. Probably would normally want to swing at it, but it's the, the way it's coming off this barrel. It completely reminds you of the forgiveness, everything of that, you know, that white twisted mistress. So, pretty excited about what this is going to become. And again, I'm a one ounce unload fan, so this will be the bat for me, I think, going forward. 86 miles per hour. I mean, I don't feel like I've gotten super extended on a swing, and this thing's making me feel really good about myself. 100 miles per hour. Yeah, it's. Sizzling. 93 miles per That's hour. I got 2,400 into the wind. Let's see what it does. You saw the wind stop it. Yeah, I mean, good. we're just shy, just shy of the fence. That's what you get for a bad swing. Caught a little under it, spun right up into the wind, and we landed pretty much at the track there, which, if I remember correctly, it's 365 to that gap. So, even with our kind of heavier breeze, hopefully, you can, you've kind of seen this is a little bit of a pit, too. So, that wind does kick up a little bit more as we get out of there. It's, it's doing a good job of really just kind of that exit below, jumping off the barrel and get through that wind. 84 miles per hour. 93 miles per hour. Ninety-three miles per hour. Who cares about the wind on that one? Yeah, easily, just punching through. 81 miles per hour. Woo! Starting to... Jim Tomey's here, everybody. Starting to feel a little better. <laughs> 99 miles per hour. And I missed that a little low. You got the slight sting, which this again is that stiff composite that's been on the Gorilla, the Yates, and the Midload Mistress versus like the standard issue has the alloy. I believe the Lady Cartel has the alloy too. With those ones, I find that the sting, even though they're both the same kind of stiffness in my mind, stings a little bit more on your hands with the alloys. So on this one, I can tell I caught a little low, ball came off fine, and honestly, your hands will be fine unless it's real cold out. 89 miles per hour. 100% off the hands. Yeah, so off the hands, I. <laughs> I felt that one pretty good. Not really sting-wise, but you get that real stiffness feeling. And even with our wind again, we just short hopped our fence out there. So the forgiveness on these, oh, we're back to, again, if you wanna see kind of a me rant on about this tech and how good it is, go back, watch the Yates versus Midload, or go back and just watch just the Midload video. But the APC tech is 100% in my mind, the best tech that Dean Marini's got. I do still like the continuous fiber barrels for really getting a lot of swings, breaking them in. Those will be my kind of cold weather bats as well. I've only broken, one or two Yates's, and those had a lot of swings on them. So they still are pretty durable, but for cold weather, 
these i'll have them broken in and then i'll go back to those continuous fiber for that but you can't ask for much more than the 275 starting point a lot of swings it'll get to 250 260 and it'll hold for a long time 83 miles per hour He almost had it. He almost Look, had it. I stood in front of the camera for it. Yeah, they probably didn't see it. You probably ruined it. Damn it. My best swing all the whole time. Landed it on the track. That might be your farthest hit ball with us. 88 miles per hour. You're eating seeds right now. You're really, locked in. I feel really good. 98 miles per hour. You saw the wind take that one into the gap. 103 miles per hour. <laughs> 101 miles per hour. Yeah. Beautiful. 79 miles per hour. I even caught that one on the hands. Tony, it's really forgiving. It is. But you can feel it. You can tell where you hit it. Yep. The feedback is true to this is where you caught it but it doesn't matter because the ball still goes yeah i mean that went a pretty decent way 99 miles per hour man that may have been 99 but i felt great off the barrel 98 miles per hour there's every bit of it yeah again the wind just does not matter with these and again these are regular pro ms we've talked about it before if you're out there swinging super dupers, hardcores, or if these are brand new balls, I mean, this is, who knows how many swings on this batch of softballs. We pretty much keep the same ones until they feel mush mush. So these aren't new by any means. And again, the balls are flying off of them. So the performance you're seeing really should be like the low end of what you're gonna get game-wise. Uh, a little bit better than obviously you'll get with 52s, because that's not what these are, but they are on the mushier side of pro M. So just realize what you're seeing here, you should expect an increase in performance with hardcores, new pro -Ms, uh super dupers, whatever you might be using. And then if you're going somewhere where you're playing, it's real hot, as the balls get softer, that's probably more so what these are kind of emulating at that point. Um, and again, you want this wind blowing in on us, baseball field wise, this thing's cutting straight through it. 84 miles per hour. 84 and towards the end, right? 101 miles per hour. Ninety-five miles per hour. Yeah, you put the wind gone. I think that's about all we need with this one. Um, as I mentioned, though, we'll go ahead real quick. I'm gonna grab the middle load twisted mistress and the end load Yates. Just throw about five swings on with each of them, along with this one. So five more in all of them, just to kind of compare sound feedback for me again. Um, it's been a little while since I swung the end load Yates. I swung the mid load a week or two ago at our last tournament, but. Just see how they feel, compare them, since people have kind of really fell in love with those twists and mistresses, and then we'll come from there to final compression, final thoughts. All right, well, let's go with release order with these. So we're gonna start with the end loaded uh, Yates, get kind of five good barrels, mid load, five good barrels, five with the culture, be done. 99 miles per hour. Yeah, I mean, came off great again, we're dealing with the wind. Again, from the uh, testing, this one was sitting at uh, 250, 255. 103 miles per hour. 103 miles per hour. 95 miles per hour. Crushed. Every bit of the sweet spot. When we knocked down, Lovey saw it hit it, but it felt great. 101 miles per hour. Well, yeah, every bit of what I remember the end load mixtures being like. Mid load up next. 94 miles per hour. Slightly different sound. Also, the ball carries a little different off the mid load. Up, up onto the street. I did not think that ball was going that far. Wind slowed down a little bit, but it's still blowing this way. And again, we're in a, we're in a little bit of a pit, so. All right. 100 miles per hour. 99 miles per hour. 99 knuckleball. 
101 miles per hour. 92 miles per hour. Okay. There's a reason I've been gaming this one. Not that I forgot that, but the definitely jump out of this one a little bit different than that and load Yates. They're both really good. You saw the comparison videos I mentioned from about, I think two weeks ago. They're very close to performance. It's gonna be kind of user's choice, but you hear the slightly different sound of the mid-load and the performance kind of speaks for itself there. But let's close, like I said, with five good barrels here on the culture. See how it compares between the two and then we'll final compression, final thoughts. 102 miles per hour. 101 miles per hour. 101 miles per hour. 94 miles per hour. I will say this is the most forgiving one. Even on that swing, I don't know how I did it. I timed it up late, caught it low on the barrel, felt this kind of sting, and we landed at the base of the center field fence. So again, kind of between all three of them, I'll talk about it here in the final thoughts. Let's go get the test on this one, see where it's at, just to see kind of how we were comparing compression-wise on this one to the other two, and then we'll go from there. All right, now that our swing's complete here on the D Marini Culture, let's go ahead and see where this final test is at. We're right at about the 100 swing mark we talked about. We might be just slightly less, but we're pretty darn close either way. That's it at zero. And it's sitting right at 255, 260, so kind of what we expect with it. Uh, obviously, we did just get kind of done hitting it, so I'd give it maybe five more PSIs, what we've seen. Um, Plus with us kind of at elevation here, it does make a slight difference. But either way, we're probably between that 255, 260 mark. Uh, you can probably at this point at the 100 swing mark, I could still go ahead and put another 50-ish kind of BP swings on it, finish opening up a little bit more and then be pretty much game ready. But that's kind of nice to see because it lets me know that the comparison between the other two uh, Twist and Mistress models was pretty spot on as far as that goes. But we'll talk about it a little more in the final thoughts. All right, and we're swings and final compression complete. We're here with the D Marini culture again the BSC specific model here as well. And all in all, this was pretty much exactly what I had hoped for with a one ounce end load from D Marini. I really liked the gold grill I dropped earlier in the year, but you probably remember from seeing mine or maybe even watch like Big Chef's video. It did come in a little bit lighter than you expect. The one ounce end load didn't feel really true. And so for me, I kind of gravitated towards swinging Yates's uh, twist and mistress, the end load that you saw swing here a minute ago. And then that mid load kind of came out and something about that sweet spot for me still feels the best of the APCs. But even with that being said, I think this one was probably the most consistent of the APCs as far as what kind of performance you got, whether you caught it low, high, sweet spot, or middle, all that kind of stuff. Sweet spot's a little bit smaller in this one than maybe the two twisted mistresses, but not by much. Uh, ball came off pretty darn close to the same speed wise. Uh, obviously distance doesn't always uh, tell the whole truth, especially out here we got the wind kind of swirling. We did have the one that came off the mid low twist that did reach our kind of the street. But with this one, we're able to get up to the top of the rock. So you're talking about the difference of it, catching the street on top of the rocks is a few feet, breeze, all that kind of stuff. Really, we're looking kind of at the below there. And with this one, um, I'll go back and really look at it, but I'm pretty sure we were right at um, the same kind of velo average as we saw with that mid-load, except with this one, you can do it with pretty much kind of the entire barrel. I know Keltner, other guys swinging out here, he loved this one. He said it felt super easy. That one ounce end-load, just let it kind of come through the zone. He normally swings kind of 26s, so for him, this did feel slightly heavier than normal but he did say with the weighting everything on it felt pretty nice so if you are somebody who likes that heavier 26 feel maybe go up to like the 27 but i don't think this really runs light for me the end load on it feels kind of perfect especially um if you're used to swinging kind of the other d marini models now if you're somebody's been swinging pier with their kind of their one ounce end loads uh, monster things like that this end load does not feel as pronounced as that so if you've been swinging like a 26 one ounce end load in pier monster anywhere where those end loads are really pronounced I would definitely then go up and ounce with this one. But with that being said, the composite handle to me is the perfect mix on these APCs. The standard issue has the uh, alloy. It does feel good, but something about this composite gives you that extra forgiveness um, without needing kind of that longer barrel that you kind of see on the standard issue. But for me, I do really think this will be the one that I'm going to be gaming going forward. I'm still going to kind of go ahead and get some more swings on it and see how it feels along with that or next to that kind of twist and mistress middle that I've been swinging. But going into BSC Worlds, this is what I'll be swinging. And then by the end of the Worlds, I'll kind of decide which one do I want to use when we get out there to uh, the conference championships down in Alabama. But if you want to pick one of these up again, keep your eyes peeled. These will be dropping right around Labor Day weekend. That's when the BSC Worlds are. If you got BSC Worlds, again, stop by the Red Athlete D Marini tent. If you want to pick one of these up online, headbangersports.com, code ADS. 
or redathlete.com code ADS35. 106 miles per hour. And there's one of our normal false readings we get every now and then from all the stuff out there. But again, or you can go over to Red Athlete ADS35, or again, these will be on Dean Marini, but there are no discount codes over there. So if I was you, I would probably take a look at Headbangers and or Red Athlete first, try to get these at a discount. If they're sold out there and all that's left is Dean Marini, get with me. We might be able to kind of work something out for you where we can get you a one-time use code or at least get the price a little bit cheaper. But either way, hope you enjoyed it. Stay tuned for this one dropping here in the near future. Again, another great model, another great specs, I should say, kind of from Dean Marini. Real excited to use this one going forward. Hopefully you guys uh, get your chance to pick one of these up. If you're out at BSC World and you want to see how one of these fuels broken in, I will have this one tested, ready to use. So you're more than welcome to kind of use it in one of your games assuming we're not playing at the same time. But again, thanks for supporting the channel. Have a great night.